Well, it's a word that nobody likes to say, let alone deal with. And today I'm gonna say it, we're gonna talk about it, poop. Because when it comes to our animals, that has a lot to do with making sure they are healthy and they are taken care of. So in today's Find a Friend segment, sponsored by Rascal Animal Hospital, we have Dr. Crystal Decker talking about some parasite issues and she is joined by the owner of Pet Butler, Pete Hulse. So I wanna thank you both for being with me. Thanks nice for having us. Oh, Dr. Decker, first of all, who did you bring with you? This is Desiree. She's from Dash Rescue. Um, she has a little bit of a sad story. She was um, just abandoned on the side of a road um, and she was found along with her sister, their litter mates. Um, she's about one years old. She is already spayed and she is a dachshund beagle mix and she's very sweet and lovable and I think she wants to be somebody's lap dog. <laughs> very sweet. You can tell it is so sad when you hear those stories and she's from Dash so if somebody wants to adopt DashAnimalRescue.com you can go to that website. So recently Dr. Decker we've had some flooding. Parasites become a big issue with animals during this time don't they? Yeah, I mean, just in general, and whenever people are very active with their dogs, parasites can live in the environment for years and years. So um, really, anytime your pet goes outside, they're at risk for for getting parasitic diseases. But with standing water and everything, some of, some of the parasites become a lot more of an issue, too. And what can people do to avoid those? So one definitely great thing is um, definitely getting annual fecal exams so you know if your pet has any parasites. The other thing which is really um, a good idea is having your pet on or monthly heartworm prevention because most of the heartworm prevention these days actually have intestinal parasite prevention as well. So that um, is a really important thing to have your pet on to help just prevent the, the diseases. Some of the diseases unfortunately may not really be all that preventable. Um, so that's why the definitely an annual if not every six month fecal exam is an important part of your pet's wellness. But there are treatments for these, right? Yep, almost all of the um, intestinal parasites have, have treatment. Um, some of them are simple as taking a pill. Um, some can make them a lot more <laughs> ill where they need hospital care and, and a lot more treatment, so. <laughs> Desiree needs some water. <laughs> okay, so Pete, you have been in the cleaning business for about 25 years, we'll say, so congrats on that. Thank you. Um, tell us about Pet Butler. We come to the yard, clean up the dog waste, take it all away. And there's a lot of reasons why you need to clean it up, aren't there? We just talked about parasites. That's a big one right there. Um, we come and clean that up and we get it away from there. And you don't have the problem of parasites washing into the water along with other bacteria that can cause water pollution problems. And it's actually, a lot of people think, oh, it's good fertilizer, right? It's not. It's not good fertilizer. Um, a little bit of dog waste over a great big yard would work just fine. The problem is it's never that way. You have a whole lot of it right in one spot. Uh, there's a lot of nitrogen in it, and if you don't have a whole lot of water, that will kill the grass. And you also, I found this startling, you say your employees on an average day, each employee cleaning up about 200 pounds of poop. Yes. So you guys are busy around central Ohio. We hustle out there, yeah. We clean up roughly a million piles of dog poop a year right here in central Ohio. And what are, you know, are the reasons some people, I mean, they probably have a vast, you know, amount of reasons why they call you, why they don't want to do it themselves. I mean, you guys come out and make sure everything's gone, right? Sure. Yeah, the yuck factor is the big one. Uh, we can talk about parasites and bacteria and water pollution, but frankly, nobody wants a bunch of dog poop in their backyard, particularly since it doesn't stay. It gets tracked in, you get it on your shoes and your dog will bring it in and your lawnmower is a mess. And pretty soon everybody's unhappy, so we come in and take care of that. And you also donate your efforts, I know, to a lot of pet rescue groups like Rascal and things like that. So why is that so important to you? Pet rescue is, it's important to me personally. It, uh, if you go to the rescue groups, you'll see a couple of things that will be very impressive. One is you'll see how many wonderful dogs there are that are just waiting for a good home. And the other you will see is how much demand there is. There are a lot of dogs out there. They need a place. They need good homes. And that's what my part with the pet rescue groups is. I try to bring those people together. I'll say, yep, come to this event. You'll have a good time. You'll meet some good dogs like this one here. <laughs> and maybe you'll go home with your new best buddy. All right. Well, Pete, Dr. Decker, I want to thank you so much again. And Desiree is available for adoption out of Dash Rescue. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.